morning children welcome to your english class in today's english class you are going to start a new chapter from your grammar book that is chapter 5 the name of the chapter is proper noun common noun so in today's class we are going to learn about common noun and proper noun now children in your last grammar class you have learned about naming words now what are naming words i think from your last class you have understood that naming words are the names that we have given to denote a person an animal a place or a thing now these naming words can be categorized into five types so there are five types of naming words they are common noun proper noun abstract noun collective noun material noun i am repeating common noun proper noun abstract noun collective noun material noun now in today's class you are going to learn about the first two types that is common noun and proper noun so let's start i hope you have opened your books in front of you first we will start with common noun now what is common noun let's look at the board nouns that tells us about the general names of people place and things are called common nouns so the common nouns are the general names that we have given to people place things they are called common nouns now children i have written some examples let's look at them some common nouns are girl boy garden school now girl you will call every girl on this earth by this word boy you will call every boy with this name now garden garden means every garden on this planet now school school can be any school but not any particular school so these are the general names they do not denote a particular thing or person or place they denote a general name now i have written some features let's look at the features the first one common nouns are used to denote a group of people without naming anyone in particular like girl girl can be used for any girl on this earth we are not naming anybody in particular with girl girl is a general word now the next feature that is common nouns begin with small letters when you use common noun in a sentence you can write it with 
small letters but not when you are using the common noun at the beginning of the sentence so these are the two features of common noun that you have to remember so common noun is the general name that we have given to a group of people place things now we will move on to proper noun let's look at the proper noun now we will learn about proper noun first we will look at the definition let's look at the board nouns that name particular people things or places are called proper nouns so proper nouns are those nouns or naming words that we use to denote a particular person a particular thing or a particular place we will not use the proper nouns for general purposes so common nouns are for general purposes and proper nouns are for particular purposes so proper nouns are used for particular people things or places now the one and only feature that have been given in your book about proper noun is that proper nouns always begins with capital letter it does not matter where you are using the proper nouns but you have to use capital letter to write any proper noun in a sentence so let's look at the examples the first example is ram ram is the name of a particular boy we will not call any other boy with that name the next one jaipur jaipur is a particular city we will not call other cities on this earth with this name now i have written the name of your school that is bolananda national vidyalaya this is the name of our institution our school we will not call any other school with this name so proper nouns are used for for particular places person or things so these are the examples of proper nouns i hope you have understood now we will see how you will use proper noun and common noun in a sentence now children you can see that i have written three sentences on my board let's look at the sentences the first one number 1 the name of the boy is ram the name of the boy is ram in this sentence we have both the common noun and the proper noun boy is common noun ram is proper noun so boy is common noun and ram is proper noun now you can see that i have not used capital letter in the case of boy but in the case of ram i have used capital letter so you have to use capital letter to write proper noun in a sentence but in the case of the common noun if you are using the common noun at the very beginning of the sentence you have to begin it with a capital letter 
like in the next line i have written boys are playing boys are playing here boys is common noun but i have used capital letter why because the common noun is used at the very beginning of the sentence now look at the third sentence that is this is my friend seema this is my friend seema seema is a proper noun and it is used at the last of this sentence but i have used capital letter so you have to use capital letter to write proper noun and you have to use generally small letters to write common nouns but not at the beginning of the sentence i hope you have understood now children i have drawn two boys there are two boys i will call them boys both of them are boys they are talking to each other now if i say the name of number 1 boy is raju and the name of this boy is sham then raju and sham will be proper noun but boys will be common noun so boys is used for general purposes i have used boys for both of these boys but i will use proper noun for particular use i will call raju to denote this boy and i will use sham to denote this boy so proper nouns means a particular people or a particular thing or a particular place but the common nouns are used for general purposes i hope you have understood what are proper noun and common noun i will end my class here i hope the class has been helpful to you goodbye and take care